He's got a chance to reestablish himself and take control of this one. Wing ball down, and he's got a shot at the one. Archer, no surprises. A, another forceful break. Look at this one get hammered by those two jaws. But it's still in a good spot for Johnny Archer to take it down. Yes, he's got a nice angle too. The three over the bottom left. Nothing more than just guarding against carelessness here. This is all about going through the motions. When the balls are in the open and everyone in the arena expects you to get out, that's when you really have to focus and maintain that high level of concentration. I've always said, Bob, sometimes it's not the difficult ones that are gonna hurt you, it's the easy ones. Johnny's gonna need an angle here in pocketing this three to be able to get on the four and take the cue ball back over the right-hand side of the table for the five. Johnny Archer really taking the scenic route there to ensure angle, ensure the proper angle. He could have babied that shot and just played a soft draw, but this way, no matter what speed he hits it, he's got the right angle. Really, Bob, that's a key with all these top players. The angle means they don't have to force balls, so the pockets are playing to their maximum size. You can float them in, and that keeps them generous. Beautifully struck. Nice and close to his work. Be able to draw this back for the green six. Archer showing some flexibility there as he puts one leg on the table. Of course, the rules are you have to have at least one foot on the ground to shoot, so that shot there, perfectly legal. He spends a lot of time on the golf course, too. Back in Atlanta, he's a member of the country club there. Sports a one handicap around the links. Pretty handy man with the clubs in his hand. Well, he actually told me last year that he has a .6 handicap. I didn't know there was such a thing as a .6 handicap. That is marginally just under one. Yeah. And uh, that means Johnny Archer's playing pretty close to par, just about wherever he goes. And right here, I'd say he's a little under par. In a golf sense, I guess. <laughs> Nine ball is down. Good, powerful break, and at the last minute, the three ball just gets out of the way. Look at how he makes that white ball just die in the middle of the table. That's just fantastic work. That's quite an art, isn't it, Bob? With that much power, and to kill that white ball in the middle of the table, countless hours of practice and developing that muscle memory with the break off, what a formidable weapon it is for Archer. And look at the speed control there. Gets it in just the right spot to put down this two ball. But what kind of shape is he gonna play on this red three, Jim? 
Looks like he's got enough angle to just run this through. Force it off the two cushions. Well, he's got enough angle to just dolly it in. And get that two out of the way. The orange five will be the next plan of attack for Archer after he gets this. You have to admire Archer. He's really asserted himself. Salvas fired rockets at him. And he has responded like a champion. I just noticed something, Jim. Not only is he moving the balls around, but he's moving the chalk around, too. He's got three cubes of chalk that were on the lower rail when he played that three, and now they're up there. And now he's bringing them and putting them back on the, you know, the corner. It looks so obsessive, but when you really think about it, it's all about routine, you know, pre-shot routine and repet repetition. So you're comfortable with yourself. So in that sense, I guess you can sort of understand it. You know what's even funnier, Bob, is you could probably tell him that he's doing that and he wouldn't know. You want someone in the zone? Just take a picture of Archer out there in the office. Wow, that six ball for a moment. There goes the, the chalk. Well, he left two of them and now he's bringing one over. That's something different. Maybe he heard us. We're gonna start a Johnny Archer chalk watch here to see what he does with those little blue cubes. This has really been a masterful display from Archer to this stage. It's been a very high standard from start right through to the finish. There's not been a lot to choose between these two. But Archer is going to go one rack clear again. Nine down, and Johnny Archer goes seven, six in front. Breaking as well as anyone we've seen here on this table. And he seems to be controlling that cue ball as well as anybody. In case in point, right here. One going down. Now look at where this pink four finishes. That is going to be the big worry in this rack, I would think. Very, very difficult to get position on that. So as early as now, you can be sure that that's on his mind. A little closer to that side pocket, I'm sure, than Johnny would have liked. And he doesn't have near enough angle on this three to get over to the four ball. So he's gonna have to look for another option. And I don't know whether the bank shot is something that he's gonna consider. There's no way he can get position from the three to the four here. As good as he is, he's gotta stay within the laws of physics. Mind you, having said that, I've seen Reyes play a few shots outside those laws. Johnny Archer just staring a hole into this table. I guess if he were to play some kind of a bank, he'd just draw it a couple of inches, maybe? Yeah, kill the cue ball pretty close to where it is. He wants to leave it away from that cushion. That'll be, that'll be what's important. Just Give himself some area to be able to cue into the cue ball. And now, if this banks, 
and Archer feels like attacking. He'll be able to run off the two cushions with the cue ball. He's got to get over the top side of the table as we look from our overhead perspective. And the other option would be to slow roll that pink four and try and use that eight ball for cover. That would be risky. But I don't think he could have done any better with the cue ball than where he is right now. So I think uh, just a couple balls shuffled around and maybe move that chalk a few times before we have a go at this one. Yeah, he's really gonna strike this well because not only is pocketing the four difficult, the landing area on that orange five is not exactly the size of Texas either. Anxious moments here. He really can't afford a mistake, not to, at this point in the match. Just seven, six in front. He's planted Salvas in his chair and he wants to keep him there. And that's how you do it. What a shot from Archer. Well, it's, it's a great shot, but he's landed very straight. Look where this white ends up. He's landed very straight on the five. So that is something that he's gonna have to manage. But on this angle, looks like he just has about enough angle to run through and then get back somehow to the center of the table, so. But now, now he's looking at the back, so maybe he feels he doesn't have the angle. He'll look at this a few times before he plays it, because he does have just a little bit of angle here. Does he want to try and force it? He knows the pockets are generous. Try and load it up with top and right hand side spin on that cue ball. Or does he accept what the table gives him and try and bank the seven? I know that Johnny Archer plays probably plays a little bit of one pocket. I don't know if he plays any bank pool, but I would think he's played almost all of the disciplines. So pretty confident going to the bank. And it looks like he's committed to it because he's lined it up now about three or four times. So all he'll need to do now is just dribble this forward just a hair. He's already knocked in one good bank. Just having a look at it, couldn't really place that cue ball any better. This looks like a dead on hit. And the nice thing about this shot for Johnny Archer, almost nothing to do with the cue ball here. I fully expect him to get this one. Just wants to have one more look at it. He's visualizing it in his mind. And as he sets, you won't see those eyes blink at all. No surprises there. He drains the bank in the heart of the pocket and has a shot on the eight with a very nice angle to come back. Nothing but net. That pocket could have been a lot narrower and that shot still would have gone down. Just a little movement in Johnny's vision right now, and he just wants to, again, settle himself. It's almost like a plane going by overhead as a golfer lines up a putt. All these players have a pre-shot routine that they go through. And when they're in the winning mode, they usually maintain a very consistent rhythm. This nine to leave him on the hill. 
Possibly half a chance for Salvas. Johnny's got a very thin cut on the one. But the good news is that the two is at the same end of the table. This shot could unlock the destiny of this match for both of these players. If Johnny Archer can just slip this in and keep position for the two, then there will be very few obstacles left in his way. Great shot from Archer there. No applause. Well, a smattering of applause comes. But that could lay the foundation for a win here against Salvas. The only worry is he's a little bit straight, just has a little bit angle on this two. He's going to have to take this white ball forward, perhaps with a little bit of left English, and take the short side on this red three. You see the left English bring the ball forward just a bit. And he's given himself a healthy angle here to get position back for the five. Well, you, uh, you point out that healthy angle. That may be a little healthier than Johnny was looking for, Bob. I, uh, this is missable. And given the circumstances, even more so because I think Johnny knows this could well be a match winner if he gets this. He'll give it everything. Never in doubt. But once again, as we see this three ball glide into the pocket. Archer straight on this five. Just a controlled draw gives him a shot on the seven with a perfect angle. And I think we've seen the last of Luke Salvas in this event, sad to say. Well, the way that Archer has played here, it wouldn't matter who occupied that chair. Luke was 6-4 in front. The scratch. And he hasn't gotten out of his chair other than to offer his hand and congratulations because that's what he's going to be doing now. What a great performance from the Scorpion.